There is a difference between Senator John McCain calling on the US to engage with Vietnam after he'd been tortured and uh, Tobias Elwood opining about the wonders of Kabul uh, now that the Taliban have gained power. There's a difference between praising the enemy who's behaving badly and engaging with the enemy and keeping up a diplomatic relations. So, there's stories today about uh, a slightly raised eyebrows about the fact that the UK has maintained diplomatic uh, links with Russia and has had conversations with Russian officials from the Kremlin. Of course it has and it should have and there should be more of that. Uh, there's very firm denials that the UK has been trying to broker peace or to arrange the um, uh, to to um, uh, portion up the Ukraine in the event of a uh, speedy uh, surrender. I don't hope that I, I'm, I'm, I hope that's not going to happen. But equally, it's quite right. The Brit uh, Britain should not be involved in that sort of conversation. And but but it doesn't mean that we shouldn't be engaged with the Kremlin. We're not at war and we have not broken off diplomatic relations. And actually, there's a lot of good reason for us to maintain uh, back channels or conversations with um, our Russian neighbors. No, Tobias Elwood and Afghanistan. Uh, in fact, Tobias Elwood is quite right that we should be opening an embassy or at least a uh, sort of conciliar service, services um, in Kabul, uh, not least because we need to be helping those people who assisted us and who are appealing for refuge in the UK and we should make that possible from Kabul. We should make that process possible from Kabul and for that reason I think we should not only be opening um, some sort of consular facilities, we should be opening an embassy again. And frankly I don't see any reason why um, it should not be opened. That doesn't mean that we're praising the Taliban. Uh, if anything, we're pointedly keeping our eye on them. So, Tobias Elwood was right to resign from the uh, Defence Committee. He should have done it immediately. He shouldn't have been forced out. He should have done it. And that would be the honourable thing to do. He's quite right to cite John McCain and he's quite right uh, in his instinct that we should have an embassy open in Kabul. He's wrong in the language that he's used and he was wrong in the ridiculous um, advert that he concocted which made the Kabul, uh, which made the Taliban sound uh, as if it had uh, effected some sort of miraculous um, paradise out of the mess that we left behind. Uh, modern Afghanistan is a mess and we must take some responsibility for that but at the same time that means we need to be there. And so uh, there's, a, there's a movement in the media that wants to see everything in terms of black and white and the media is simply wrong. Most things are terms of grey and even when we are um, on bad terms with a country we should still be talking and uh, I, I think frankly it was wrong to break off diplomatic relations in the first place. We were already negotiating with the Taliban to take over the government even when we left um, Afghanistan. The fact that that takeover was so disastrously handled is not down to our failure to anticipate what the Taliban was do it, would do, it was down to the stupidity of America and our desperation to poodle after um, Trump's decisions and Biden's uh, insistence. Other people's mess, but we need to be ready with the broom to clean it, clean it up and we should have been ready right from the start. And we should certainly be um, helping those people
who supported us and put their lives in danger for the project of creating a, a different Afghanistan. That project was wasted. We spent a lot of money. We spent a lot of time. A lot of lives were sacrificed. And in the end, uh, the stupidity of um, elite powers in the United States meant it was all for nothing. It was all for nothing. You know, we behaved badly.